Hey Battle Brawlers, Lord Dark is here coming to you straight from the Spin Master Headquarters, bringing you an exclusive sneak peek at the Bakugan that will be hitting your local retailers in the months of November and December, just in time for the holiday season. The lineup is in an incredible assortment of Bakugan, including 9 core Bakugan, 4 Bakugan Battle Gear, 4 Bakugan Super Assault, and a brand new Bakugan Mobile Assault. Each Bakugan comes with a heat reveal DNA code, allowing you to upload the Bakugan into Bakugan Dimensions, where you can expand your online collection, engage in amazing epic battles, and show off the Bakugan to your online brawler friends. Now there's a lot of Bakugan here to cover, so let's get to it. The first of the core Bakugan is a Bakugan called Gren. Gren is an aquatic Bakugan with a bi-wing tail that makes him move very quickly when underwater. The tail also has spikes that make a great weapon. His tusks are razor sharp and instantly grow back if broken during battle. And he stabs his opponents with the large spikes on his hands. Next is a core Bakugan called Ramdol. Ramdol blinds opponents with a powerful light beam. He uses his wheels to race around and ram the enemy, and with super fast acceleration, he outruns any attacker. This is a core Bakugan called Megarus. Megarus is an imposing battler and always brawls to the end. His mini fins make him super fast in the water and difficult to catch in a brawl. Megarus's exoskeleton shell is strong and durable. His mouth contains a thousand teeth that'll rip through the toughest armor. This is a core Bakugan called Damakor. Damakor smashes his opponents with his massive head. He's a four-legged Bakugan that is nearly impossible to knock over. When in attack mode, spears shoot out the side of his head, cutting down the enemy. And he'll fend off attackers from the back and the sides with his spiked tail. Next in the core line of the November and December Bakugan is a Bakugan called Lachanoid. Lachanoid is a one-eyed monster that shoots lasers from his mini blasters, which reveal when you hit the button right in the middle. And his eye shines like a bright beam of light that blinds the enemy. His attack style is fast and merciless. Next is a core Bakugan called Olephus. Olephus is an exoskeleton monster that floats gently and attacks powerfully. His wispy tentacles give a lethal electric shock when touched, and he wraps his tail around an opponent and shoots fire from his eyes to defeat the enemy. Next is another core Bakugan called Nastix. Nastix is a slimy monster that morphs into different shapes. He grabs hold of opponents with his massive hands and squishes them, rendering them powerless. He releases a toxic chemical that causes temporary blindness. The two large limbs on his back provide protection from sneak attacks. Next is a core Bakugan called Scaboid. Scaboid unleashes a powerful flame during attacks. He's a mean-spirited Bakugan that prefers only to brawl with the best. Multiple eyes on his head allow him to see 360 degrees. He uses his powerful claws on all four legs to destroy every opponent. And the last of the core Bakugan coming out in November and December is a Bakugan called Rickaran. Rickaran is a spider on wheels. He steamrolls over rivals with his indestructible front wheels. Uh, Rickaran shoots poisonous claws when battling in the arena. He takes off his wheel, actually, and throws it like a disc, slicing through the enemy's armor. And now we go into the Super Assault Bakugan, coming out in November and December. This is a Super Assault called Venoclaw. Venoclaw shoots a purple plasma bean from his mouth. 
His eyes shine fiercely at any opponent, locking onto it and raising it into the air before shooting a deadly beam of destruction. The head opens up, exposing a stone, which fires a powerful energy blast. The second super assault is Volt Elezoid. Volt Elezoid has large tentacles that extend outward, taking hold of the rival and thrashing it to the ground. The large eye shines red and unleashes a strong energy wave. Next is a super assault Bakugan called Buzz Hornix. Buzz Hornix winds up on the side, allowing him to flap his wings at high speed, creating a super powerful tornado that destroys everything in its path. The eyes light up in an eerie green color and shoot out a gigantic destructive energy wave. Laser cutters rain down from many horns on its large body during battle. And the last of the Super Assault Bakugan is called Sprazer. Sprazer has pinchers and shields on both arms and is always difficult to attack. His dragon-like tail allows him to battle two monsters at once. And his head is protected by a sharp horn. He has muscular legs so he can leap and slam down onto his rival in the battle arena. And now we go on to the Bakugan Battle Gear. The first Bakugan Battle Gear to come out in November, December as Destrocon Gear. Destrocon Gear has a triple strike attack. The large pinchers cut up an opponent's swords and then the arms wrap around them to nullify their abilities. The arms can split apart and attack from three different angles, confusing the enemy. The body core is capable of ramming an opponent. The next Bakugan Battle Gear is called Explosix Gear. Explosix Gear is a split wing design flyer that reaches supersonic speed. A green laser beam on the front detects the slightest of movements. Upon sensing movement, each wing will shoot lethal green darts to penetrate the hardest armor. The third Bakugan battle gear is called Helmgund. Helmgund radiates a lock-on beam from a lens equipped on the wings. It freezes an opponent and then attacks with the blaster on the back. Two blaster beams converge to become a huge energy blaster. It fuses laser blade and blaster energy. And it charges at the opponent, firing the fused energy, nullifying the gate card. The last of the Bakugan battle gear is called Terex gear. Terex gear has three blades that pop out and rotate to lift it off the ground. Using its blades, it bores through hard rock and penetrates the opponent's base from underground. The blades spin at hurricane speed to blow back and shred the enemy apart. And now a newcomer to Bakugan, Bakugan Mobile Assault. This is Raytheus. <laughs> Raytheus spins and twists at lightning speed as it rolls with he looks dragonoid, fitting perfectly into the center. At top speed, its razor sharp metal blades flash as Raytheus unfolds to take on its full riding capacity, piloted by Helix Dragonoid. Bakugan are getting bigger and more powerful. Thanks for tuning in to the November and December Bakugan previews. Bakugan.com, my.bakugan.com, and the official Facebook, YouTube, and Bakugan Twitter are now the international hub for Bakugan all over the world, bringing you the latest information on Bakugan in your region. I'm Lord Darkus, signing off.